So Psalms 13 is another psalm of King David. This one's almost a messianic psalm, but more of David rejoicing in the fact that God is there to help him with the challenges in his life. So some good things maybe that can resonate in our own life as we read this. So verse 1, How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. So this is, uh, this is David praying to God about helping him in his life. So where are you, God? What's going, you know, I've got lots of problems, lots of challenges and issues in my life. What, are, what can you do to help me with these? This could have been from a time where either David is being sought by uh, Saul. could be during the early years of David when Saul was trying to kill him. It could be during the time when uh, David's son turned against him. This could be also the time where David is suffering the results of his own wickedness that he is experiencing in his life. He's lost the spirit. He's not close to that spirit anymore. He's seeking for it, but he's having trouble finding it because of the challenges that he has done from his own choices. Um, in fact, verse 4, he says, Lest mine enemy say I prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But, this is verse 5, I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. So verse 5 and 6 is the, the transition in this psalm to going from complaining to God about the problems that he's experiencing and that, you know, why can't you help me, God, with this? But I will trust that you will help me with this. I will trust that you will make sure I'm taken care of because you have in the past. So that's how he ends it. He still has faith, but he obviously has some struggles at this point in his life. And King David admittedly had a lot of struggles, a lot of challenges that he dealt with. So let's jump to the next chapter as we continue to learn about these psalms.